Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. What we're looking at here is we've got three 4K TVs. These are 65 inch, or a little on the large side. I, size, I would probably recommend uh, 55s if you want to surround yourself in displays. But I'm not going to pan back and forth anymore. I just wanted to show you that we were indeed running uh, three 4K displays, and we have them all hooked to the same computer. This is technically our overkill machine, as we call it, but um, it would be most similar to like our Platinum if you upgraded the processor to the um, i7 at 4.8 and the um, GTX uh, 1080 Ti with 11 gigs, the high-end graphics card. So I'm going to sit down here and show you a few things. So it is technically possible to run three 4K displays on one machine, but you have to be willing to make, you know, a couple of concessions. So we're here in New York City where it's obviously very densely populated with buildings, and um, we're getting about 24 frames per second, which is kind of a little less than what you would want. Um, you'd probably want more like 30. So what I'm going to do is go to the graphics settings and I'm going to change our objects from high to medium. Okay, so notice our other settings here. We've got our anti-aliasing set sort of towards the middle. Maximum on texture quality, HDR for our visual effects. And I'm going to hit done. It's going to take a minute to kind of redo the buildings and, and not have quite as many of them. What we should see is we're able to get close to the 30 frame per second mark. And the reason I'm in New York over Manhattan is I figured this is kind of a worst case scenario and um, you kind of want to tune your system for the worst case scenario. Now I'm not running any add-ons like X Enviro or SkyMax or for XP, none of that stuff. This is just the regular X-Plane scenery. So if you decide you want to install some of that stuff, you have to account for that in what you think your frame rate is going to be, especially at three times 4K displays. So in a pixel count sort of uh, way of thinking about this, this is the equivalent of 12 1080p displays as far as the number of pixels we're looking at. Now right now we're getting 30 frames per second, or actually 29.5, right at 30. And so that's sort of the magic line you want to stay over and so I'm going to unpause, if that's a such thing. And we're getting 31 right now, 30, 31. Yeah, we're right at, you know, 30 frames per second. And so this is very flyable, very livable, and, um, you know, you can work with this. Now we're at 36, 37, 38, so we're getting up there a little bit. So that kind of gives you an idea of the performance hooked up to three 4K displays. Kind of your worst case is going to be about you know, 30 frames per second with your objects on medium and maybe 25 if you have them on high. Now one more thing I'll show you is the anti-aliasing is in a sweet spot. If I had to go down one notch on the anti-aliasing, it really doesn't make the frame rate go up. But if I go up on the anti-aliasing, it does make it go down. So right now we're getting 31 frames per second and now we are getting 18 frames per second, almost caught, cut half of our frame rate out by just going from uh, to 4x SSAA from 2x SSAA with FXAA. Uh, and that has to do with the anti-aliasing, getting rid of the jagged lines is what that has to do with. So now we're back up at 30 or 31 and a reminder that we'd be at 25 if we had our object set to medium. Um, so I'll just kind of zoom around here a little bit. Now we're at 36 frames per second. So again, very flyable. And let's pause this thing for a second. And let's look at, sorry I have to lean forward to see this, our task manager. Um, so what we see in our task manager is our GTX 1080 Ti is pegged to the max. It's running at 
and our processor is fairly underutilized. So clearly here our bottleneck is GPU. Now in a lot of cases, in most cases, the, the bottleneck is typically the processor. But because it's so many pixels, uh, 4K times 3, it turns out that the, um, the video card turns out to be our bottleneck here. And with new video cards due out in, I don't know, six months or so, NVIDIA has been very um, deceptive, maybe is the word for it, in how they are um, you know, talking about when their next cards are going to come out. But when those come out, I have a feeling 3x4K is going to be very, very realistic. It, it's still realistic right now, as long as you're willing to run your objects maybe at medium or be willing to kind of put up with um, 25 or so frames per second. Right now we're in the 30s, we're at, right at 30.0 and when we bank the wings like so, we get into the upper 30s, I think because we're showing a lot of sky over here. Um, so I'm just kind of circling around New York City. So there you go, it is technically possible to run three by, uh, three 4K TVs if you have the right cabling and the right hardware and um, the right know-how.